Lovely people, Veronica here, and I am in the kitchen. <laughs> Not a normal place for me to be. Hi, ladies. <laughs> Hi, we are on retreat in heaven. Hola. Hello. And our beloved Astrid is going to guide us. We have been having the most extraordinary food, and she's going to guide us in how to make almond milk sprouted raw almond milk. It is so good. Not really sprouted, just oh, soaked. Just soaked, yeah. okay. So we're going to start with um, just raw organic um, almonds from California, some local raw honey, some vanilla extract, and just some sea salt. That would be our preserve, our preservator. Preserve. Preservative? Preservative, okay. thank you. <laughs> um, so I just soaked the almonds overnight. So you just soaked them 24 hours? Yeah. Okay. And you just want to rinse them. Ideally with fresh water, right? We're, we have great water here. Yeah, ideally with fresh water. And in Filter. reference to proportions, you could probably, this is probably about two and a half to three cups of almonds. Okay. Um, and what I, I eye everything, I don't really measure it. Mm -hmm. um, and this will probably end up making about eight cups of milk. You want to make sure that your almonds are unpasteurized. Okay. Um, in California, about seven years ago, they passed a law that all almonds have to be pasteurized. Mm. So that really kills a lot of the good goodness that's in raw almonds. Okay. Um, but you can find them online, so just Google organic raw or uh, unpasteurized almonds. Okay, so we'll put those links or the, those tips in the comments. Exactly. And then you just fill up um, your blender. Preferably you have a strong blender, mm -hmm. um, like a Vitamix or an Oster, mm -hmm. just because the the almonds tend to be pretty coarse. So you're just filling just over the almonds. Great. Yeah. And okay. then I'm just going to leave a good amount of space up at the top <laughs> so that it could has enough space to expand. Okay. And as I mentioned, I eye the amount of salt. So that was like about two tablespoons? Approximately, yeah. Okay. And then the same thing with the vanilla extract. You can add cardamom, nutmeg. All sorts of things. It kind of just depends on what you want to flavor your milk with. Mm -hmm. And that was maybe two tablespoons? Two tablespoons, yeah. You're going to want to blend it for about a good minute so that all the particles can break down. Great. Hi. Hi. Hi, everyone. So we now have the milk already blended into liquid form. And what we're using here is a nut milk bag, which can also be used. Uh, you can also use cheesecloth. I prefer a nut milk bag just because it's a little bit more fine and doesn't allow for some of the um, more coarse particles to penetrate. Okay. I've got my beautiful model, Perla, here. Hi, Perla. Mwah. And you just pour it in. And then you milk the bag, literally. <laughs> <laughs> so then we can just close it. Just Where do you get these bags? You can get them at any natural food store. Awesome. You can get them online. Okay. Huh. <laughs> and this will take, you know, about a few minutes probably? Uh, yeah, maybe like a minute or so. Okay. And you'll want to extract all the liquid from it. Okay. Hi. Okay. So we're done so we're squeezing like, the last like, of our almond milk. Uh -huh. And what we're going to be left with is almond meal. Oh, okay. And yeah, I've like, made amazing like, recipes yeah. with it using um, making flow tuna, making raw macaroons, so all sorts of fun stuff. And you can get really creative. You can bake with it, make pancakes. Wow. Um, and Bella, what were you saying about... Not at all. I was feels. saying how connected I feel, you know, like better than just going to the store and grabbing a carton of like, milk that's not even natural. Just it This is. is very grounded, very connecting, like, with the food yeah, and just this is, this awesome because you can infuse your milk with, like, love or whatever you want to, like, you know, chai chai with. And that's just even more powerful and more nutritious. Awesome. So if you're going to yeah. serve it immediately, you can just put it in a jug like this. Um, a regular ball jar, yeah. and just don't forget to flip the lid because 
Say that again. Wait, ladies, 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 will you hold on one sec? I'm making a video. <laughs> She's making almond milk. Do you guys like the almond milk? Yes! Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes! Okay, so here we are. One more minute. So if you're going to use the milk now, just go ahead and put it in a jug. And if you're going to store it, it'll store for about two to three days. Mm -hmm. The salt is what's going to be the preservative to mm -hmm. hold it. Um, but just go ahead and put it in a jar. And if you use a ball jar, just flip the lid mm -hmm. so that you're using the opposite end up. Because these white lids have BPA, which is not good for us. Thank you. Especially as women. Thank you for sharing. And the best almond milk in the world. Yes. <laughs> Anyone want to try it? Yes. <laughs> How's the almond milk? Oh my god. I was just saying, it really, it tastes like a vanilla milkshake, but better. Oh. It's an elixir, and it's so, you feel it's so nourishing to your body. Yes. I feel like I'm in a commercial. I would start my day without it.